In this video, I'm gonna show you how to convert any image formats into JPG on Mac. Hey everyone, I'm Dom from Wondershare Uniconverter and there are several image formats used on a daily basis. Different devices, websites, softwares support, produce and work with different image formats. For example, the iPhone workflow works with AGIC. I mean, it works with other formats as well, but it likes AGIC the most. And then there is WebP, which is an image format designed specifically for the internet. And then professional photography works with different versions of raw image formats. And then we haven't even talked about the design world where there is PNG, TIFF, PSD, and many more. Now, why are there so many different image formats? You may raise the question. Well, because each of them has different functions and attributes. PNG, for example, can handle transparent backgrounds, has a good compression rate, and is widely supported. And then there is WebP, like I mentioned, it was designed specifically for the internet. Raw image formats contain the most data, that's why professionals use that image format when it comes to photography, because then they can work on them later on a much higher level. However, I think the most commonly known and used image format is JPEG or JPG for its convenience. Everything supports it and it produces manageable file sizes. So if you have to choose one image format to back up and store all your photos in, then it should be JPG. And in this video, I'm gonna show you a few ways to turn your non-JPG images into JPG. Let's do it. First up, I'm going to show you a universal method that you can use on basically any devices. There are many online image converters available. So when I have to convert one image format to the other, in this case, something into JPG, I just usually search for, let's say, AGIC to JPG, and I just go with one of the first results. Basically, all of them will do the job, so it doesn't really matter which one you go with. On a site like this, what you have to do is to upload the images, and I hit convert and then download them. And basically that's it, it's really easy. And you can do this with any image formats. If you wanna convert PNG to JPG, you can do that. If you wanna do TIFF to JPG, you can do that. So there are many converters available online. And these converters work perfectly as long as you have internet. So if you're looking for an offline image converter, then first of all, you can go with the preview application on Mac OS. That's the default application that opens up the image when you double click on it. And you can convert all image formats into JPG with it that macOS supports. All right, let's see how it's done. So take your image and double click on it. As you can see, the preview application opened it up. Navigate to the file menu and here search for export. It's down here. Click on it. And then here, select your output format, which is JPG in our case. And then here with this toggle, you can also set the quality. And then just save it to any folders. It's a very practical and useful tool on the Mac OS. However, if you're looking for a professional image converter, then I recommend the Wondershare Uni Converter. It supports all image formats and it can convert images in bulk, which means that you can convert multiple images at the same time. And alongside converting, you can add effects to them, you can crop them, you can resize them, and many more. You'll find all the essential links in the description below. So once you downloaded it, open it up and let's see how it works. From the tools menu on the left side, select the image converter and then import your images. In the upper right corner, select an output format for all images, which is JPG in our case. By clicking on the settings icon, you can set up an output aspect ratio as well as the resize quality. This way, all the images you imported will have the same output attributes. By hovering your cursor over the image thumbnails, you may also set these attributes up one by one. You can also make individual cropping settings to the photos alongside adding effects. You can apply effect settings to all images by checking this little box here. When you're done with the settings, select an output folder 
and then click on convert all. And that's it. It's a very easy to use and powerful tool and it makes image converting easier than ever. But those were our tips on JPG converting. I hope you found useful information in this video. And if you did, please give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more how-to videos. With that being said, thank you so much for watching and I'm gonna see you in the next video.